So the torsion bar cover that has a backing plate and a nut to hold it in the back fits in here. And I noticed that uh, like on the other side, even if I bend it out, it just looks, it just looks ugly right here. It, it, you, there's a big indentation and you can see all of that. So I'm gonna put, put some tape as you can see over the top. I'm gonna screw it in place and then I'm gonna put some filler on it and then uh, let it set and then take it off and then smooth it out. So that way it looks better. You know, I hate seeing these cars where it's either missing this, missing this here, or this is just, just doesn't look right. So I want this to look nice. So that's what I'm working on right next. So I'm gonna put it in here, get it at the right angle. Let's get the back in plate. This is the backing plate it goes in up underneath and on the thread. And then I have the nut in my hand and screw it on tight. So you can see it's got an indentation in here and on top. Uh, this part here probably when I sand it down will end up being a little bit of metal. But I just want to get this in here and this in here filled. So I'm going to put the backing plate in. Tighten up the nut in the back. Okay, that's in there tight. So I can feel there's a, a lip here and up here. Right here is nice and smooth. And right here is, yep, that's smooth here. Except this nasty here. Now if I bang this out, it's not gonna catch on this back lip behind it. So if they push that out, I'm still gonna have a problem. I can bend and move this around and it's, anyway, this, I'm sure there may be another way of doing it, but I just find this is, I did it on the other side and I got a really nice smooth finish and it looked good. one pass just watch. don't want to fiddle with it too much which the stuff's already starting to set okay sorry for the fingerprints on there. I put a second coat on, giving that time to dry. And now I am going to use the DA sander. I've got 120 grit on there and I'm just going to go very lightly and then see if I can sort of get the shape out. And we'll see how we go from here. <laughs> See the edge.
Okay. I'm going to undo the back nut. No, it's I got two blades. Just feeling the groove. I'm running the knife inside the groove around I'm cutting the paper just gently rocking it okay so that's out I'll take this off sand this down a little bit I might give it some more time to dry Let's see which way it goes in smooth and flush. All I'm going to do is now is just give it a very light sand around the edge. Now I have a nice cover and it covers perfect. So there we are. Okay so I've given it a light sand around the edge. I don't know if you can pick up on that but you can see the difference. now I'm just going to put it back in its place and pretty much it'll only go in one one place once you do it like this it fits like a glove put the nut on the back so now while I'm working on this side of the car I'm filling and sanding at least I know this part here is nice and smooth So there it is, much better. And to continue down the driver's side, left hand side of the car, and then carry on working underneath the front. And once that's done, then it's gonna be three to four coats of filler primer, and then carry on again doing the block sanding with a much finer grip paper get it nice and smooth everywhere and then give it two coats of base paint 
about three coats of clear and then start blocking and sanding and getting the orange peel out of it. Anyway, this is where we're at. Thanks.